In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to change your resolution in Dota 2 using Steam. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm gonna show you the two main ways of changing the resolution for Dota 2. One inside of the game and another one using the launch options for Steam. First, if you want to change your resolution inside of Dota 2, all that you have to do is click the settings icon on the launcher, go over to video, and you will be able to select this option, use the advanced settings to customize your resolution. You can choose the aspect ratio, and most monitors are gonna run natively on 16x9, and then you can choose the display mode between full screen and windowed, and finally the actual resolution. Choose from any compatible resolution listed here, and when you click apply, the changes are going to go through instantly, so as you can see, you can make these changes at any time. Once you are done, the new change will be applied in-game and everything will work properly. If you want to change the resolution using Steam before you actually enter Dota 2, what you have to do is go over to your library, find Dota 2 and right click it. Go into the properties and under the general tab you will be able to find the launch options. In here you can use these parameters to choose a resolution before you even open up the game. So all you have to do is type dash W space and then the width of the resolution, so for example 800 and then space dash H, which means the height, and then space and the height. So in this instance, I would use 800 by 600, the width and the height. Once you are done, including the launch options, you can close this window and select play. And the next time you run Dota 2, the width and height that you set in the launch options are going to get applied. So once Dota 2 opens right here, you will notice that the resolution is going to get scaled to what I set in that, on that launch option. I hope I was able to help you on how to change Dota 2 resolution using Steam. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.